Hello viewers of Biotechnica. Today I'll be talking about DRDO. Yes, everybody, whenever you hear of DRDO, all of a sudden we will have one thought in our mind. Can a life science student get a job in DRDO? Is it possible to get a scientist position in DRDO? So today in this video, I'll be talking about how to join DRDO as a scientist after completing your MSc in biotechnology. And I'll also be talking about even if you have MSc in life sciences, you can also join DRDO as a scientist. So come along with me and let's discuss the complete topic in detail. So first let's talk about what is this DRDO. Everybody knows about it, which is Defense Research and Development Organization. And the headquarters is located in Delhi. And totally DRDO has 52 laboratories. But since it is going to be a life science scientist position, there are almost going to be 15 laboratories, which falls under the life science division. I'll be talking that also in detail. So first let's now talk about what is this DRDO which is Defense Research and Development Organization. The headquarters is at Delhi and there are almost 52 laboratories in DRDO. So I'll be talking about whether all the life science candidate can join as a scientist under 52 laboratories. No, it's not going to be 52 laboratories you can join under because they deal with mechanical, they deal with electricals, uh, they deal with many many different uh, streams also. But but as a life science student, under the life science division, there are almost 15 laboratories that you can start working as a scientist B position. I'll be talking about all these things in detail. The second important thing is what are the levels of post of a scientist is actually present at DRDO? So there is scientist B position, scientist C, scientist D and scientist E. So after completing your MSc in biotechnology, you can apply only for scientist B. You cannot apply for scientist C, scientist D, scientist E because it is the initial level of entering as a scientist. Later, you will be promoted to C, D, E, F and it just proceeds on also. So this is the major levels of post of scientists in DRDO, but there are many other scientists position also. Now I'm going to talk about what's the salary package of all the scientists who work at DRDO. So this is the salary package of all the scientists. If you start off with scientist B, the level 10 pay scale, almost after completing your MSc in Life Sciences or Biotechnology, if you've been selected as Scientist B in DRDO, you can actually earn 56,100 rupees per month. And after that, Scientist C, you can literally see the difference of the salary. Scientist D, level 12 pay scale. Scientist E, 1 lakh, almost 1 lakh 23,000. Scientist F, 1 lakh 35,000. Scientist G, 1 lakh 44,000. H is the outstanding scientist, which usually gets around 1 lakh 80,000. And distinguished scientists uh, will be getting 2,5,000 for one month. And if you become the secretary of DRDO, you can earn even 2,25,000 for one month. This is the salary uh, list of the complete scientists who work at DRDO. But as a fresher or after completing an MSc in biotechnology, you cannot directly go for these positions, but you can enter as scientist B and then after experience, you'll be promoted to this position. So this is the salaries of DRDO scientists in DRDO. As I already mentioned, there are 52 laboratories, but as a life science students, we can work only under 15 labs. So I'm going to list out all the 15 labs. You can see it over here. If you want to know about the life science department, you can go to this website, which I have given here. And if you're going to use that website, you can literally see a page like this. So beneath this, you will see all the departments under life science. You can see it over here. It's life sciences department. So 15 laboratories will be 10 lab, 15 laboratories will be here, which is DRDO, DFRL. So food research laboratory. So food science candidate can go for this bioengineering electromedical laboratory. They also recruit life science candidate food research laboratory. Yes. And then Institute of Bioenergy Research. Yes, of course, it's bioenergy. So life science students can go. Defense Institute of High Altitude Research and Physiology and Allied Science. Psychological Research you can go in for. Research Development Establishment you can go for or Defense Research Laboratory or Nuclear Medicine and Allied Sciences. So these are the uh, departments which comes under Life Sciences. So you can be recruited as scientists in these departments, I can say under these divisions you can go in for. The rest of the things are for different specialization very specifically. So this is about the laboratories which are under Life Science Division. 
Next, let's talk about what are the qualification for scientist B or scientist C, scientist D and scientist E. So after your MSc in biotechnology, you can enter only a scientist B. So you need to have either a bachelor's degree in engineering, it's enough or a master's in biotechnology, MSc in biotechnology, MSc in microbiology, MSc in food science or B.Tech in engineering or B.E. in engineering if you're going to have, then you can enter into scientist B position. The second one, if you're going to be an engineering graduate, B.Tech in genetic engineering, B.Tech in food technology, along with that, you need to have three years of experience or MSc in food sciences plus three years of experience if you're going to have, then you can start applying for science. Scientist C. Usually you have to go for Scientist B, then you will be promoted to Scientist D. So Scientist D is going to be 7 years of experience along with your first class degree in B.Tech or B.E. or MSc in Biotechnology or MSc in Life Sciences. Scientist E is 10 years of experience you need to have. If you have 10 years of experience in research, then you can start applying for Scientist E. Since I'm talking about MSc in Biotechnology, you can only apply for Scientist B position. You cannot apply for Scientist C. Suppose if you have Master's in Biotechnology, along with it, you have three years of experience then you are welcome to apply for scientist C position also. So this is about the qualification. Now let's move on to the next point which talks about how to apply for the scientist B position. That's going to be the question because scientist C, D and E you can apply but the most common thing is after MSc you can apply for scientist B. So the first is application for scientists at DRDO. How can you do that application process? I'm going to show you the most important website here. So this is the website where you go to RAC site, which is Recruitment and Assessment Center. So if you go to DRDO, there is a site where it will be redirecting back again to the recruitment portal. That is RAC, which is Recruitment and Assessment Center. So you can go to this one or you can go to RAC login. This is also you can use. I've given it directly over there this is like you will be redirecting and then you'll be reaching the page and this is the RAC portal recruitment assessment center so here you will find lot of advertisement number 140 139 so these advertisements usually comes uh, based on scientist B position for this department under this laboratory for life science candidate so you can check all the updates in this RAC site very specifically and the next is, as I already mentioned, suppose if you are going to be B.Tech uh, in engineering, then you can go directly and apply for sign, uh, scientist C, uh, B position or else you need to have first class and masters in life sciences. Here I specifically wrote food science because you can go for a department or we can say department of food research, DFRL, you can go for food research laboratory, you can go for as I already sh shown here, DFRL, food research laboratory, if you want to go in for, then you need to have your masters in food sciences or equivalent or B tech in food science or food technology if you're going to have then you can go for this one one example i'm showing you which means masters in life sciences if you're going to have then you can start applying for this the next one what's the age limit if you are a general candidate for scientist b position you can apply till 28 years and for SCST candidates, five years relaxation is given, which is 33 years. And for OBC candidate, three years relaxation is given till 31 years. You can start applying for scientist B position. How is the selection process going to take place? This is going to be a direct recruitment. As I already mentioned, you will directly go to RAC site and there you will see the advertisement and you will be applying online application form. You'll be submitting it after that. They will be calling you for the interview through direct recruitment based on the GATE score in life sciences, not in BT. So GATE score in life sciences, paper code is Excel. If you're going to have almost 80 percentage uh, in GATE score, then it is very good enough to apply for this one, you can say. The next, there is also sometime going to be return test. I'll be talking about who can write this return test. If you have your GATE score, life sciences, and if you want to go for DFRL and work under as a scientist B, then you don't have to write return examination. For certain category like agriculture, uh, they won't recruit um, basically based on the GATE score. You have to go for the subject specific examination and then only you'll be called for the interview. So it is based on the subject or the department you're going to uh, apply for it. It is based on that. The next one salary range as I already mentioned scientist B will have a salary of rupees 56,000 per month. So this is about how to process scientist B. Now the next question comes for us is how is the selection process going to take place? 
before going in for this what are the subjects are preferred by drdo first this is most important if you are belonging to masters or btech in microbiology or biochemistry biomedical engineering food technology food science agriculture horticulture biotechnology then you can definitely apply for scientist b position so suppose there is part 1 section part 2 and part 3 part 1 if you want to apply subjects which comes under part 1 is biochemistry food technology microbiology biomedical engineering part 2 is going to be physiology agriculture horticulture so these are two division and of course they have part 3 also which is very specifically for psychology so the first part 1 how do the recruitment process take place so you'll go to the rsc website and you'll start applying and they'll invite you based on the gate score excel very specifically and if if that is done and if you uh, if they call for the interview then you have to attend the interview like 80 percentage of mark you need to get in your gate score and 20% if you're able to score in personal interview then you'll be selected as a sign is b position if you are wanting to go in for biochemistry food technology microbiology or biomedical engineering if you are belonging to this subject then you can go for it suppose if you have done human physiology or mbbs or if you have done agriculture or horticulture then for those people appear for the subject specific examination so you don't go through a uh, gate examination you have to write an examination conducted by drdo which is subject specific examination so merit list will be prepared based on the sae ssc and after that personal interviews will be done and based on both the merit list then they will be Uh, announcing you the result like whether you have been selected or not so just understand whether part 1 if you are belonging to biochemistry food technology microbiology you go through a gate scores very specifically you need to have your gate score then only you can go and uh, uh, become a scientist b if not if you belong to agriculture or horticulture or physiology you can write ssc examination conducted by uh, drdo then you can go for the personal interview and if your score is very good you will be recruited as scientist b position so this is about the scientist B position at DRDO if you are belonging to either part one division or part two division. The next one is going to be what are the ways? The first way, as I already told you, you have to go to RAC site, and based on the advertisement which keeps coming, you are going to apply for this. So this is the major thing that you can apply for this one, or else you can go as a JRF, SRF, and then you can finish your PhD, research associate, and work there as a scientist also. That is also another criteria. But this is an easier way to enter as a scientist B position. Okay, how do you have to apply for this? You can go for DRDO official site, or you can go for this RAC official website, as I already told you. And you have to register yourself. After registration, you will be getting your scientist B registration ID and password. After that, you start applying for this examinations or you can start applying for this position which has come notification will be keep coming you just have to do an online application process so the most important thing i'm going to talk about this year what are the recruitment and how it happens you can see recruitment and assessment center rac through this only you are going to apply here so you can see the website of rac here and drdo website and there will be 28 days usually there'll be uh, for this uh, application process this is for scientist b position right now there were like almost 37 vacancies were available for scientist b position so as i already mentioned part 1 like if you belong into biochemistry food technology microbiology biomedical engineering then you will all fall under part 1 and part 2 is for agriculture horticulture and physiology people will come under part 2 part 3 will be psychology so now let's talk about part 1 so in part 1 you can see biochemistry students can apply for scientist b position you need to have first class masters in biochemistry from any recognized university you definitely need to have biochemistry degree only and you need to have a valid gate score as i already mentioned excel paper code is going to be excel suppose if anybody is biochemistry but they are a person with disability then you don't have to have a gate score which means means you will be asked to write another examination which i'll be talking about very specifically for person with disability you won't need to have a gate score but you have to write another examinations so this is for biochemistry candidate the next one is food technology candidate if you want to go in for you need to have masters in food sciences food technology food science and food technology any of these things you can go in for and definitely you need to have a gate score so after seeing the gate score they will call you directly for the interview you won't writing this uh, ssc examination same applies for person with disability 
responsibility you don't need to have any sort of um, uh, gate score uh, you have to write a different examination so person with disability uh, may apply even if they do not possess valid gate score such candidates will be considered for PW category only. If you want to apply scientist B position in PW category, then you don't need to have any gauge score. But if you do not want to apply under PW category and you want to apply it general, then definitely you need to have your gauge score. So if you're applying for PW category, no need of gauge score. And the next one is microbiology. Of course, microbiology is a must and pa paper code, Excel, gate you need to have definitely. And the next is biomedical engineering. If you're not going to have like biomedical engineering, biomedical instrumentation engineering, biotech, biomedical technology, biomedical science or biomedical genetics engineering, whatever you belong to, you need to have your gate score. Then definitely you can apply for this one also. So for this, the gate score is should be in uh, biomedical engineering, BM gate you should have applied and then you should have qualified it this is for part one category the next is part two category if you're belonging to agriculture then this is for you so physiology candidates you need to have a degree in physiology physiology or human physiology or medical physiology or agriculture candidate masters in agriculture any of these things like agriculture agricultural and entomology agriculture soil science crop production agriculture chemicals agroforestry whichever you belong to you can apply for this one horticulture you need to have any of these things agricultural and horticulture agriculture post harvest technology vegetable science or whichever it is you can definitely go and apply see here you can see they have not mentioned that gate score is mandatory which means if you're belonging to agriculture horticulture or physiology if you want to apply for you don't need to have any gauge score then how the procedure works you have to write a subject specific examination conducted by drdo if you qualify that then they will be calling you for the personal interview and if you qualify personal interview then you will be placed as a scientist b in drdo the next criteria as i already mentioned person with disability if you want to be considered under person with disability candidate in the first category part one category like biochemistry or microbiology or biomedical engineering any of these things then you don't need to have any gauge score suppose you don't want to be considered for person with disability category then you need to have your gauge score in such cases people will be going for another examination called crat exam so this will be for 300 150 150 mcqs two marks correct answers and negative is 0.5 duration of the hour is two hours and it's going to be a computer based test so this is for person with a disability you have to write if you don't have your gauge score you will you can apply under person with a disability category others for the part 2 SSE exam part 1 is based on the gauge score so this is all about how you can become a scientist in drdo after completing your msc in biotechnology if you're going to have experience then you can start applying for a scientist c d position but as an initial fresher you can apply only for scientist uh, B position with an average salary of 56,000. So I believe that this video is helpful for you. Thank you all of you for joining. I'm going to meet you back again with another video. Thank you all of you.